Dienes undergo electrophilic addition reactions in which a molecule of HBr or HCl or Br2 is added to the diene molecule. This forms two different types of products. One we call the 1-2 product and the other we call the 1-4 product. And these numbers are simply referring to the carbon atoms of the diene. They have nothing to do with the numbers that we would use if we were trying to name the molecule. In the 1-2 product, the hydrogen and the bromine of HBr are added to carbons number one and two of the diene system and in the 1,4 product, the hydrogen and the bromine are added to carbon number one and carbon number four. We can control the distribution of the 1,2 product versus the 1,4 product by controlling or changing the temperature of the reaction. If this reaction is run at very cold temperatures, zero degrees C, the major product is the 1,2 product and the minor product is the 1,4 product. Even though the 1,4 product is more thermodynamically stable because it is a more substituted diene, at cold temperatures it is our minor product. If we heat the reaction up quite a bit to 40 degrees C, which is pretty hot, we see the reverse distribution of the product. The 1,2 product is our minor product and the 1,4 product is our major product. We can explain the different distributions of these products by looking at the mechanism of the reaction. So I'm going to draw the mechanism of this exact reaction, 1-3 uh, or one, three butadiene with HBr. In the first step of this reaction, regardless of what temperature it is, the carbon-carbon double bond reaches out and it attacks the hydrogen of the HBr, and this forms a carbocation. Um, this is a Markovnikov addition reaction, so the hydrogen is adding to the carbon that has the most hydrogens already present, and this gives us this carbocation secondary, um, but it is also allylic, so it is pretty stable. The bromide ion then attacks the carbocation, and this gives us the 1-2 product. And again, this is the major product if the reaction is being run at cold temperatures, it's the minor product if the reaction is being run at warm temperatures. So this would be our major if we are at zero degrees Celsius. Now, if we have quite a bit of heat in the system, 40 degrees is, like I said, it's pretty hot. This particular carbocation that is formed in this step is able to undergo a rearrangement process. So, or, um, a it forms a resonance structure. And in this resonance, I'm gonna use a different color for this arrow, the double bond just simply moves over into this position. That relocates the carbon atom to the end of the chain. This is a primary carbocation, so it is not as stable as our secondary allylic carbocation, but because we are operating at high temperatures, the system has the energy to form this less stable carbocation. Once that less stable carbocation is formed, the bromide ion then goes ahead and attacks um, the carbocation, and this gives us our 1,4 product. And this, again, this is our major product when we are at high temperature, 40 degrees C. Um, so uh, the motivation for rearranging in this step to form a less stable carbocation is really the end game here. If the, if the carbocation can rearrange itself, it's going to be forming ultimately a more stable product. It looks like I lost a carbon atom there. Let me redraw that. Forms a more stable product, putting the double bond um, inside the carbon chain rather than having a terminal du uh, double bond in the molecule. So our understanding is that at high temperatures, the molecule has the ability to rearrange and ultimately form the most stable product. And we refer to this particular pathway as keeping the reaction or putting the reaction under thermodynamic control. Thermodynamic control meaning that we are changing the temperature to allow the, the system to form ultimately the most thermodynamically stable product. When we are operating the reaction at low temperatures, we are not providing sufficient energy for this thermodynamic pathway to occur. We are requiring the reaction to take place under the least amount of steps or in the fastest possible pathway. And so we refer to this particular process as having the reaction under kinetic control. Kinetic, of course, as you know, refers to the speed or the rate of the reaction. So keeping the reaction cold prevents this step from happening, um, pushes the reaction down a faster pathway with fewer steps, and then that, again, we refer to as 
kinetic control. Heating the reaction up, providing it with sufficient energy to make it through this particular process of forming a less stable carbocation. This we refer to as controlling the reaction based on formation of the most thermodynamically stable product, and we call this thermocontrol.